So welcome to Spire Academy, the new home of education at Spire. This is a tour of our new facility to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing, what it's going to look like, and how it's going to feel to be an educational space that is about the future of education in this country. Come with me. So now we've come inside of our space, and of course the first place you're going to see are offices. Offices for the head of school, admissions offices off to my left, and then you're coming into what is the first classroom on the right hand side here with storefront glassed in walls so you can see into the room and see the activity that's going on. Each of our classrooms has big screen TV, has overhead projector in the room, and technology that lets us stay connected to the world every day. As we walk further into the space, we'll come into the common area and then tour of Science Lab and other facilities. So in every school academic facility, you've got to have some science facilities. And here to my right is our science classroom. Behind it will be the science lab space. There's a large retractable air wall in here that is either open for bigger class work or smaller if it's just lab facilities. Over my right shoulder to the back are doors that go into our Spire Fit facility, which students will have access to. That's all of the workout equipment like you would see in a Planet Fitness or other type facility. So we have all of this in a very close proximity and availability to our students. To my left are men's and ladies rooms and locker room facilities should kids be needing that if they're a day student and they need some place to store some of their belongings. Now we're gonna move over to what is probably the most exciting part, or one of the two most exciting, over the Mechatronics Laboratory. Please join me. So walk with me into the Mechatronics Laboratory. Mechatronics is for mechanical engineering. For kids who are big into the engineering world, that's one of our new majors here. It's one of the key areas that we're going to see growth of new job opportunities across the country and around the world. So we want to have our students have the opportunity to use this as a major if they're not interested in being in some sport that we offer here. So in this space, you will see all kinds of things when it's finished up. This is like a big workshop is the best way to describe it. Work tables that are movable, uh, stuff on the wall where tools are hanging, 3D printers, where we can create all kinds of new things, which will be part of the robotics program. Because remember, we're not building little robots that move things around on the floor. We're working with life-size robots. So this is Mechatronics Lab. It's a very cool place. It's a place you'll want to spend some time. Over to the far side are offices for faculty and for administrative people. Uh, at the wall that is right to my right, there will be a large high top table. It's like a big workstation, similar to what you might see in a restaurant, where you have a space where people can all sit around and have some food or some drink, but a place where you can also, in here, work or just relax with your friends. So now we're into more of the traditional academic classroom area, where you'll see to my right three very large classrooms designed specifically so that the students who are all on furniture that moves have an ability to work in small group or in large group or to sit in some relaxing furniture in the corner for a conversation or discussion, maybe with the teacher or just maybe with each other. Three classrooms that have glass front partial walls so that you can see into the classrooms, uh, but also protected glass so that they will not be uh, protruded by anybody trying to come into this space that was not part of who we wanted in the school, which would be hard for someone to do because there's a whole check-in out front, security check that they have to go through before they can enter this space. So three classrooms out here in this middle area, which we call the commons. The commons is going to be areas where there are tables of different shapes that all can fit together into a small working environment with four or five people, or can be separated if people want to work independently. Again, these are tables that move and also chairs which are very comfortable to sit in at those tables um, and you can work as a group or individually. In the center out here is our really lounge furniture which are all pieces that are of different height 
different colors. They can all be configured based on if kids want to sit in a circle to talk to each other or just small groups of one or two, be able to move that furniture around. Our floor in here is all going to be polished concrete where the floor in each of the classrooms is a really bright colored uh, a bright colored carpeting that has bright stripes in it that will match with the bright color furniture that's going to be in all of our classrooms and in all of the common space. A nice area to relax in, a nice area to work in, and a great area in which to learn in. Because on two of the big walls in here, one wall which is 40 feet across and 12 feet high, there will be projection equipment that will take with us, take our students live to any location in the world where we are joined by a person doing a live feed and we are having part of the educational program for the students brought to us by someone who knows that area. For example, if we were at the Eiffel Tower live, then that person standing there would be showing a picture, letting us feel that we are right at the base of the Eiffel Tower. But if we went up in the two stories or up to the top, at some point, if we can do that again, we'll go up in the elevator together, our students, with that individual. So it's about taking our kids live to locations and making the learning that they're doing actually real time and a real experience where we talk about what are the, the things we hear in the background, what are the smells, what are the experiences, how does all that tie into our learning? That's what creates the memory we want, we want our students to have as learners at Spire Academy. So now we're at one of the most exciting places in Spire Academy's academic uh, facility. We are at the eSports Suite. This is, if you can imagine, take your imagination and trust it. As you walk into this space, on your right hand side are 15 stations with all the best technology for students to learn not simply how to be an e-gamer, but how to design and develop and create new e-games, how to work on the music for them, to develop the sets for them, the scenes, all aspects of e-sports. So in the corner will be a virtual reality studio space for kids to learn and understand better what virtual reality is and how it's used. And this is a projection wall for watching things. I did also not, I didn't mention back in the room back there, which is a small room, that's the green room. So that's for all the creating of e-gaming uh, properties that some point students might want to be engaged in trying to market themselves. A very exciting space, accommodates 150 students for each half day. As Spire Academy grows, we will run two sections, a morning school of academics and an afternoon school of program, with the students doing their major in the other half of the day. It's a very exciting space, got a great faculty already hired to be our instructors for all of this. We look forward to having you with us. Thanks for touring.